are holding their own. They began the day with a four-shot lead. Salas filling it up for birdie here early in the round at number three. Yeah. Gets Jennifer Cupcho contributing as well. This to get the team to 20 under par. Yeah. In their immediate vicinity has poured on a lot of heat, so these two are in cruise control at the moment. Lizette Salas, her second at eight. This was a four hybrid. And this to just six feet. That also leads the team event on the LPGA Tour's regular season schedule. Two person teams. Jennifer Cupcho and Lizette Salas, the overnight leaders by four strokes, and they are not looking back in this final round of best ball. Yes. Their third win of the season. Got to go. She knew it right away. That was a pretty good rollout to even get within a yep. half an inch. She'll make par at the ninth. She said she knew it right away, but she also knew what she left out there. And I Jennifer Cup show on the tee at 10. One of the harder holes on the golf course, a straightaway par four that just is long and back there, right? helps if you can start out with a drive like that. Back at the 10th at Cupcho. And that also is seven iron, looking really good. Likes to cut it in. They're just peppering that flag stick. Sure. Not much movement. Nice. Just filling it up. 22 under. So once again. It's how you can recover from those. This format makes it a little easier. Well, golf in general is about minimizing the mistakes, isn't it? Yeah, and no mistake there. That's right in the middle of the fairway again. To the front. The trickiest part is where the third shot comes from. A lot of movement in that fairway, so you can get some shots above the above you right there. But that should be a little flat unless it gets on that upslope. But that should be fine. Ideally, you'd also lay up to a perfect yardage yes. for your third. Absolutely, you want to fold the yardage, especially with this hole's cut. She's got a little space behind this whole location. This is just a smooth wedge, Jim. Go. It did. It stayed right there. All right, solid shot. Five remain at 22 under. Let's go the first shot. Soft. Soft. She hit that one hard. This could turbo nice. kick. Just beelining for the hole. But it kind of reminds me of McElroy in a way that effortless power. Play so well of the course of the last three days. And with her partner short right, this is a five hybrid going right towards the hole. Wow, she is so good with those hybrids. Yeah, two very different styles of play. Jennifer Cupcho known for her. Not losing speed, that one right in the middle of the hole. Answer, yes, we've got another one. Look at all the birdies. 24 under, five shot lead. We'll be right back. With the nine iron in her hand, goal is to get it just inside of her partners. Let's see, trying to maybe fade it into this whole location on the right side. Really well played. Just anything. But you don't know if that first win does open the floodgates. People say it all the time, but for Jennifer Cupcho to get that second validating win so shortly after that first one, it's been a heck of a season for her. Yeah, her second. Absolutely dead calm right now. Shoves that out to the right about 35 feet. That club just didn't want to get too aggressive. Really fun. It's been just fun like, for him, I'm sure, all week. Yeah, how low can we go? Got to go to get low. All right. He's done that a few times. So they'll head to 16 with a five shot. Part of the flag, going with three wood. Really sounded nice. That is straight as a string there. 
I mean, she one-armed it. You're thinking she might not be happy <laughs> with it, but that was more of a show than it was a show. There is no give up in this player at all. Woo! Bam. And they just keep pouring them in. Baker going to get close to the uh, all-time scoring record here. 27 under, that is. And it would be... So she she's taking it more to the left. That's a little taller. Yeah, just kind of a little three-quarter shot there. Get it. And another good chance for Cody. Why not? You've been making them all week long. <laughs> nope. Well, their goal yesterday was to create a cushion mm. so that they would have a little bit, you know, of a leeway there. Because you never know if you're going to just come out flat. Right. And, and they knew. That is plenty safe. Well done for the first one to hit. Smooth swing. She's eyeing it. Yeah, going on a, about the same line as her partner. Safe, safe. Good Just a little right to left movement, slightly uphill. Can she get it there? Just enough. Oh, they're just reveling in it. Zero pressure. There's a celebration on the airplane en route to the Evian. And pacing all the way. And that'll do it. There they are. The fantastic duo of Lizette Salas and Jennifer Cupcho, a partnership that will no, no likely be cemented for years to come. Solheim Cups and Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitationals. Such wonderful chemistry. They didn't get a piece of that tournament record, but they left us with a lot of highlights and memories. Champagne bath. Yeah, she's been waiting a long time for that sip. <laughs> Don't waste it. Give me that. <laughs> Such a likable character, Lizette Salas. So much fire, so much passion. Jennifer Cupcho continues to rise in CBS Sports in association with the LPGA.